Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another Smite Super Builds. My name is Zelkanon, and this is a Damage Hades build. Yes, that's right. Doing a Mage Hades build, it was requested. Uh, personally, I haven't seen Mage Hades do too well. Only a few have done well. I feel like it's it's a mix between the items um, and more of the uh, the player behind the uh, behind the Hades. So it, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, most of the time I see Hades that don't do enough damage or they don't have lifesteal or they just um, they just get just killed so quickly so with those uh, with those factors being said uh, let's jump into the items so actives uh, he doesn't have any CC he does have his get away with this one but you may need to buy purification beads or greater purification I guess it's called now um, so I would highly recommend this. As you can see, it also reduces your um, your cooldowns by five seconds. So you can use that uh, as more of an advantage to escape again with your one. So I I kind of recommend purification if you're doing um, maybe like mid lane conquest or solo lane conquest. You may want to buy teleport to towers, uh, maybe meditation so you can out um, you can you know stay in your lane longer. Uh, those type of things you may want to buy hand of God. It's kind of up to you. Second active, I like Blink on Hades, uh, so you don't really have to rely on your one to initiate. Um, so it, you can use that. You can use that as a getaway, also as long as you're on combat. Obviously, if you want, you know, strictly a, a getaway com uh, Blink, again, then you know, get combat Blink, obviously. But the thing with combat Blink, it has a 180 second cooldown versus this Blink is only 45 second cooldown. So if your one is, you know, not ready. Then you know, go ahead and use uh, greater bling to initiate. Next, uh, this build has no cooldown reduction at all. If you want cooldown reduction, I would go ahead and get the cooldown reduction boots instead of the magi. But uh, personally, I don't really mind the cooldown too much. Uh, you can kind of uh, mold your playstyle around the cooldown, so it's really up to you. So choose a magi. Next up we have Bancroft's Talon. He really needs lifesteal in order to keep him sustained. Uh, re reason being is as a guardian, he has the lowest HP scaling as a guardian. That's why you don't see him picked much uh, for the guardian role. Uh, he only has plus 80 health per level. That's, that's, that's really bad. It's pretty bad. Also, you know, his ulti doesn't cripple people. Anybody with a, a, a like a leap or, you know, a dash can obviously get out of it. Since it does not cripple, which is a little... That's my main problem with Hades as his ultimate. Yeah, you do some fairly decent damage. Um, you know, you gain protections while you're in your ulti. But it's fairly easy to get away from it. So, with that being said, you can really use it to... It, like attack people with your ultimate that know that they, they can get away or attack them when they're really low in health that way since you know we're playing mage hades right now uh we have enough damage um to, to kill them you know what i'm saying so that also being said if you jump into a crowd with your ulti this bancroft's talon is going to help you a lot it gives you 100 magical power right off the bat 12% life still, which is really good, and they're really great passive. So if they try just wailing on you while you're in your ulti, uh, for one, you, you have your protections increase. Two, with this passive, the more they hurt you, the stronger they're going to get hit by your ulti with the passive. So one additional magical power per 1% of your missing health. So that helps out your ulti quite a bit. I feel like that's a really uh, great item for Hades. It's a, a must-have. Next, Void Stone. This helps boost up your magical protection a little bit. Uh, he is not a mage, he has a guardian, so he does have a little bit base of magical defense, but it's not the highest, uh, obviously. So this also helps out with your with your ulti. Uh, when you pull them in, their magical protection is reduced by 15, so therefore it acts more like a penetration item without actually having penetration on it. So this works really well for Hades. Also, you know, the higher protection and more power, so this works really well for Hades. Next up we have Spirit Magus. This acts more of a penetration item as well. We have the base 15% oh not sorry, base 15 magical uh, penetration. But then with this passive works the same like his uh, with Void is when you start your damage over time ticks with your ulti, it reduces the enemy's magical protection. Therefore, you know, all these, these three items right here just make your ulti so so much stronger. You know, lowering their defense, it's more penetration. And uh, if they try hurting you, you're going to hurt them even more. And you're getting protection. So this makes you, your ulti a really deadly weapon. Uh, these three items right here. 
Uh, Polynomicon. This is great because more life still. We need a little bit more power, and this offers uh, 70, uh, 70, plus 75. Sorry, I can't really speak. Uh, more mana. Uh, and the passive is really cool. So if you pop up on them with your one, you know, you do your damage with your one, you would go ahead hit three since you have a blight on them, and that does even more damage. And if your one and three combo does not kill them, you can use your basic attack. Uh, with your Polynomicon, so your next basic attack has 85% of your magical power. So therefore, those three attacks right there should finish off somebody. It should, it should easily kill them. You know, one, three, Polynom, boom. They, they should be dead or really close to death to where your normal basic attack should just finish it off. So this works really well. If you do not like this item and you want to keep your Shoes of Magi uh, for, pen for penetration, I will go ahead and switch this item for Breastplate of Valor. Reason being for more mana and 25% cooldown reduction and quite a lot of uh, physical protection uh, because you know our as you can see on the bottom left our physical protection is a little bit lower uh, than our magical so that would help out as well so that would be an alternate to Polynomicon. Next we have Ethereal Staff. Uh, speaking earlier of uh, Hades Sucky HP um, if you don't have this item you'll be sitting at 2090 health that's extremely low and that's why a lot of Hades just die because they just don't have HP. So this helps that out quite a bit. Additional 600 health, 300 mana, 30 power plus the passive. So this gives us um, 89 um, power. So it gives you a good amount of power in, in itself. It is a little bit pricey yeah, in that uh, 2700, but I feel like it's really worth it. I, I've been like an Ethereal staff on my on quite a few of my mages actually like Scylla. Um, maybe buy it for um what's his name zong queen uh the more like close up fighter so that's that and then finally uh here we are i did buy the skin uh, way back in the day i do have the voice pack too yeah so that's a uh, great uh wonderful new uh let's check out the recommended have a look at the recommended this is good i like it i'll probably get midas boots for conquest but hey whatever Yeah, has the items. Oh, sorry, that's right. That's what we're missing. Okay, so if you don't want Ethereal Staff, you get Rotted to Hoodie. I totally forgot about Rotted to Hoodie. Sorry, guys. So that's why our magical power is a little bit low. Uh, so if you don't want Polyonom, do you switch up for Rotted to Hoodie? If you don't want Ethereal Staff, you get Rotted to Hoodie. Uh, so first, we're going to try with this build. And then after I try out some damage, I'm going to go ahead and buy the Rotted to Hoodie instead of Ethereal Staff. Uh, or a polynom and you can see even more damage displayed there so I was wondering why my magic power is a little bit low as far as recommended these are pretty nice items here since the updated recommended build so let's go ahead and go back to all items and let's go ahead and buy why did I think consume this without them? okay let's buy magic might and elixir power so here we go wonderful jump as here with my HP bar that's what my HP bar looks like to others so it looks pretty intimidating Start off with our one. 423. Pionom. 333. Or 323. Three, whatever. Red. 479. Pretty decent. Let's go ahead and uh, blink through. There we go. 477. Detonate with your three. 575. Pionom. There's our life steal with our basic attacks. He's dead. So looking at the cooldowns, yeah, you could probably use uh, Shoes of Focus, rather, uh, for the more cooldown reduction, or switch for uh, Breastplate of Valor instead of Poly. So let's go ahead and use Magical Might. 555 power. There we go. So you can get away with uh, without having Polynom, and just sticking with uh, Bancroft Fatalin for lifesteal-wise, uh, mainly due to his 3. If, you, if you're not aware of his 3, uh, if they're blighted, you get the detonate bonus, and it's extra damage and more healing, as you can see here. So you can heal yourself with your three. So on a basic attack, or oh, he died. There we go, 600. Let's go ahead and use elixir. Now we're up to 651 power. This is without rod to hoodie, so we'll go back soon and use rod to hoodie. That's, th those are pretty nice numbers for without Rod to Hoodie. Of course, it's with the you know Elixir, Magical Might, and Red Buff. Yeah, um, 
Let me actually use my ulti. Um, let's go ahead and use on the Gold Fury. 300 ticks. And pretty much killed him. So we definitely used some Riot to Hootie action. Of course, that was on the Gold Fury, so, you know, the damage may vary. Let's go ahead and sell this. Let's go ahead and buy Rob to Hootie. There's our damage. Okay, so as Red Buff wore off, we're, we're at 720 power with these two potions. So let's go ahead and get Red Buff again. Wow. All right, there's, there's your damage. 833. Let's go ahead and blink across. There we go. Wait a little bit on cooldown. That's our one. 819. So. Without Rod to Hoodie switching out the Ethereal Staff, your damage varies about 1 to 200 points. Uh, so it's really up to you. As you can see, our health is much, much lower, but our power is much higher. This is totally up to you what you want to do. Uh, like I said before, you can switch Polynomicon with Rod to Hoodie and then still have Ethereal Staff. Uh, that may cater to you more. There's uh, quite the variety of routes. I think our Polyonom just hit that guy for 700. <laughs> let's see, let's go ahead and try. Polyonom hit it for 700, yeah. So, uh, let's go ahead and switch Polyonom with Ethereal Staff. Let's see if we can get, you know, good HP and good power all at the same time. So, I sell that. Sell, there we go. Ethereal Staff. Okay, look, we still have fairly good damage, 848, with the uh, back up to 2600. Granted, we no longer have, you know, the Polynom Lifesteal, or the Polynom Mana, I think it gets mana, right? Uh, and no more Polynom Passive, so your basic attacks uh, follow-up won't hit that hard at all. So. There you go, there's your solution. If you don't mind uh, the Polynom, then I would go with this build instead. Uh... It is, it's a really great build, and like I said before, if you want to use a uh, ride to hoodie and ethereal staff, um, and you want cooldown reduction, go ahead and buy shoes of focus. Yeah, you won't have as much penetration, but it's 15. If you're, you're switching 15 penetration with the cooldown, um, it, yeah, 15% cooldown reduction or 15 magical penetration, totally up to you. So, yeah, this is the build. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. And one more thing, if you want to see any other builds for any other gods, or just anything at all, uh, feel free to ask questions in the comments section below. I'll always read the comments. And as always, thanks. See ya.